to do a grade program scan. Hello, in this video, I will show you how to do an XM grade program scan. This video is for Spooky2 software version 2019-0903 and above. Do a grade program scan. Connect the power adapter. Then connect the USB cable. Now connect Spooky2 Boost to the generator. Twist to lock it. Connect the test cable to the high power port. Twist to lock the cable. The other side connect to tense pads. Now, let's connect Spooky2 Pulse. Here we use Spooky2 Pulse ear clip option. First, connect the pulse to the computer. The pulse must be connected to the computer, or the scan results would be inaccurate. Then we connect the ear clip. If you have ear holes on your ears, you can use finger clip. Okay, now we connect tense pads. Stick tense pads to the right wrist. and the left ankle, like this. Turn on your generator. Open Spooky2 software. For example, I want to treat code, and I found that there are many programs for code, but I don't have enough time to run all of them. Then I can use a grid program to find the frequencies I need. First, click Bell Feedback, Spooky Pulse, General, Grid Program Shell, EV. Then go to the Programs tab, search Code here, and I choose these programs. There are 22 programs. Then I go to the Control tab, tick Override Generator, and click the Generator port. It takes about 11 minutes. Now, the countdown is going, and software will scan frequencies one by one and find out the most suitable frequencies for me. Here comes the scan results. We suggest that you save the top 10 frequencies directly. Click this button and you will see this window show up. Put a name to help you recognize this program. For example, I name it Code Jack 2019-1106. You could also add some description here. Now, click this button to save the program. Go to the Programs tab untick all databases and tick only BFB and you can see the program you just saved here. Run scan results. I want to treat my conditions on remote mode so I disconnect the tense pads.
and connect Spooky to remote. Don't forget to put DNA samples in the remote. Now, go to the Presets tab, choose a preset to run the scan results. I run it on remote mode, so I click Shell Empty Presets, Remote, Killing, JW. Go to the Programs tab, choose the program you just saved. Go to the Control tab, take Override Generator and click your generator port. Click Start to start arriving. Since I'm running a killing program, I had better run the detox program at the same time. If you only have one generator, you could run detox afterwards. Add another XM generator. Click Utils, Rescan Devices, and you will see the new generator port. Choose a detox program. Here I use Detox Maintainers, JK. Go to the Control tab, take Override Generator, and click the Generator port. Click Start to start the detox frequencies. Thanks for watching this video. Do you have other questions about XM Grayscan? Welcome to tell us.